colors in thin films. In the neutral sense experiment, initially we have taken a monochromatic source of light. The monochromatic source of light only it gives bright and darkness. Either maybe the maximum intensity gives the brightness, or if we take uh, if we get darkness means due to the destructive interference. For example, if we replace that monochromatic source of light with the white light, what will happen? Yeah, white light. White light means it has all the colors that is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. That means the, the white light which is having all the wavelengths, it is also visible spectrum in between the 4000 angstroms to the 4000 angstroms to the 7000 angstroms, 7000 angstroms. Okay, this is also called as visible region. Okay, when we expose that, that means when we, if we done the neutral sense experiment with the white light, we will observe beautiful colored rings. Okay, so the same thing is happening in our day to day life. We are observing multiple colors on your soap bubbles. Suppose if we take a soap bubble, the soap bubble is in a curved surface. Is it or not? Yes, exactly. That is a curved nature. Okay, for the soap bubble, for the soap bubble, the refractive index mu is not constant and also the angle of refraction r is also a not constant. Refractive index is not constant and also the r is also not constant. Okay, suppose if we expose on this the white light or sunlight. So, like this, all the rays are coming like this. So, due to the curved surface, due to the curved surface, if we take any particular point, if this point is satisfying for a one wavelength, one wavelength, that is constructive interference, as we know that the path reference formula is 2 mu t cos r equals to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2, 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. So, yeah, thickness is uniform, thickness is uniform, constant, here mu is varying, it is constant, thickness is constant, mu, refractive index is varies, refractive index is varies, and angle of incidence is varies, why, because due to the curved surface, whenever angle of incidence is varies, the angle of refraction is also varies, that means R is also varies, this one varies, this one varies, automatically, the path difference is varies based on the color we have taken. That means based on the color incident on that particular point. Suppose if we take any point, that point is satisfying a constructive interference, the one particular color and the same point is satisfying the destructive interference for remaining all the colors. Due to that one, whatever the color is participating, that particular point, constructive interference, that color we can observe there. This is for the case of soap bubble. This is for the case of soap bubble. That means, so in the soap bubble, the surface is spherical surface. Okay, that's why R, R is varies. Angle of refraction is varies. But if we take thin film that means a uh, floating aisle that means floating aisle so floating aisle floating aisle so for the floating aisle it is a floating aisle the thickness may not be constant the thickness is not constant may not be may not be constant but angle of incidence is angle of incidence is angle of incidence is same even though angle of incidence is same, two, what is the formula? 2 mu t cos r equals to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. The different colors are possessing the different wavelengths. Okay. The refractive index is varies. The thickness of the floating aisle is not constant. Why? Because the aisle may not be uniformly distributed. That's why mu is varies, t is varies. So whenever mu and t is varies, 
if the r even though r is constant mean tr constant uh, uh, mean tr varies automatically it affects the path reference here also same thing will happen suppose if any particular point that means this point is satisfying the constructive interference for the red color so due to that one we can observe the red color we can observe the red color this same point is satisfying the destructive interference for remaining all the colors that's way throughout the film if you take any film throughout the film we have never seen the darkness we are observing multiple colors only do you understand that means if we take floating oil or soap bubble for the both the films if any particular point is satisfying the constructive interference for a one color the point is satisfying for the destructive interference for remaining all the colors on the darkness if we incident any light we can observe that light only that's way we can observe the colors this is the concept about the colors in thin films it is also very important topic please subscribe my channel thank you